Ladies, have you ever watched this show called Put a Ring on It? And where we're going. Well, first of all, I want to make sure you all know that I was very intentional with choosing you all to be the first couple that I sat down with. And I have to say that with you all, I'm confused. Yeah. You initially said you wanted someone submissive, right? Yes. And then as I played things back, she goes, but I take care of you. And you go, yeah, you do. So I guess I can start off when I talk about her not being submissive and giving me uh, what I need. She always te uh, tends to ask her father before she asks me. And I think that's rather That's painful. not true. That's not true? No, that is not true. Mm. That's not true. Okay. Well, I feel like it is. I feel like sometimes... Well, it's either she's asking her father or she isn't. Which one? If she's saying well, it's not true, give, give me an example. Give me an example, give me an example because I don't think that's true. Father. Well certain situations that we've been in when we were moving, when she's investing, when she's when she's launching a book, when she's doing things like that. I feel like she depends on her father's advice before she listens to me. You're kind of getting a second opinion before you give me your full trust. Are you just trying to pull stuff out of a... I feel like sometimes he's just trying to pull stuff out of a hat and he's trying to find a reason where it's got to be... That, that's, not, that's not been the issue. So can you give us a factual example of her doing that? Because if that's a concern, she has to know about it. Because yeah. that's a lot of my confusion. What is this couple's stuff? I don't really have any factual things, to be honest with you. I don't know how to handle a strong, independent woman. When I ask to help, she says, I got it, I got it, I got it. I know I have a lot to offer. And so when I'm feeling like I'm not respected or my judgment is not needed, it makes me feel uh, very, very vulnerable. And so uh, to experience that uh, in a relationship, it is very, 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 uh, it's, it's hurtful. But it seems like if you are having these, making up these stories, yeah. right, Dunbar, that don't have any validity that means that there's there's we i do want to talk to you alone to see possibly what is going on from your past that is making you bring these issues into this lovely situation that you have attracted ultimately in your life do you see what i'm saying yes ma'am chance can you give us a moment yeah okay <laughs> All right, baby. at any time when a man feels like he's out of place in a relationship uh, he finds himself especially me searching for ways to be visible so we we just like any other kid in school will act out or do something that's not uh, that's not normal because we're struggling for attention we're begging for attention Dunbar. hey 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 yes. my job now is to make sure that chance realize when i need attention and and provide that for me hot seat ah a nice person <laughs> stop that so now it's just me and you you know you know, I call spades spades, right? Yes. There's some fear there with you, Dunbar, with her. Right. It is a lot of fear. I go up fear, false evidence appearing real. I've never told anybody this in my life. What is it? Because the fear that you have right now, my brother, it will be the death of you. This week, you're going on a date with somebody you already know very well. Your ex. Our ex. Who? There is not one ex that I want to see. They're an ex for a reason. All right, here you go. When we opened the door. still can be like that for sure. How am I betraying myself you betray by choosing to work with this man, no. this man that I love? How am I betraying myself? No, no, no. I am not about no, no, no. 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 no.